Dose is Coach Davis back with another video and in this video we will be discussing one of the most important parts of being on this journey which is how do you communicate with your motherfucking self when you by yourself after you binge watch this semen retention channel that nigga this nigga that nigga and you gotta know at the end of the day can't nobody save you anyway so how do you communicate with yourself you know what I'm saying when you on this journey because, first of all, let me put a big pause on something real quick. If you watch another nigga channel and want to relapse, pause, homie. Pause. You got to put a pause on that. Any nigga that make you want to relapse, that's pause, nigga. I ain't going to lie. Some nigga on here on the scene retention shit, he be putting, like, thumbnails with bitches. You ain't going to never catch me putting no holes in my thumbnail. That's crazy, G. You know, like a motherfucker that's in his first week or two. Uh, we gonna get into that in the video, though. Self-talk is one of the most important parts. You feel me? So y'all enjoy the motherfucker content. Salute to the new Gs. Salute to the day one Gs. And salute to the haters and the dick riders. I need you to hate me and I need you to dick ride me so I can feed off your motherfucking energy, G. So please keep going because it make me feel more powerful. It makes me feel better about myself. And it lets me know that I'm that important to motherfuckers. So please keep doing it, motherfucker, because I love it, nigga. Salute. We'll speak on something as well, Gs. If I don't do it for you, don't waste your time watching my motherfucking videos if you don't like my content. Because that's what we supposed to do as men. If you don't like what another motherfucking doing, just don't motherfucking watch it. Because there's a million and one other motherfuckers out here that you could be watching. Whoever do it for you, then go continue to watch that nigga. There's people that look up to me and there's people that count on me. So if you ain't one of the motherfuckers, it's cool. Why? Because I don't expect everybody to fuck with me. And I don't care because in real life, I do not fuck with niggas anyway. I got to... Handful of niggas that's super solid that I fuck with. But it's a whole bunch of square ass, simp ass, sucker ass niggas out here. And I gotta know, like, all right, if, if the couple solid niggas fuck with me, they equal up to about a thousand, two thousand motherfuckers compared to the sucker ass nigga that equals zero to me. So fuck it, you feel me? But at the end of the day, when you fighting them urges, G's. Are you getting shook at yourself? Are you getting scary? You thinking you gonna relapse? You get the urge? You get all crazy of wreck pulse? You thinking about them motherfucking videos you was getting into? You thinking about, you know, shorties you was cracking and all that? And you know what I do? Matter of fact, I'm gonna talk about myself. I still get the urge. Look at my eyes. That's that retention game, you feel me? When I get the motherfucking urges, geez, this is what the first, first of all, I'm going to be all the way 100 because this is what y'all know me for, you feel me? First of all, I get the urge when it's crazy, right? Boom. Pull up my YouTube channel, scroll up and down a couple times and remind myself, motherfucker, I got shit to do. I got people depending on me. I go through my messages. You know what I'm saying? I got a 15-year-old young G that I'm keeping motivated. Today, he just made two weeks. So, shout out to you, young homie, young king. I'm fucking proud of you. Keep going, because you're going to be a legend out here. You 15 on semen retention, my nigga. You know? Feel me? This is what, yo. Ain't no way I'm going to relapse if I'm talking to myself the way I'm talking to myself, G. I also tell myself, you know what I'm saying, I keep, I, sometimes I curse myself out, real shit, you feel me? I be like, yo, I make myself feel stupid just to outsmart myself to take the fucking urge away. I be like, yo, motherfucker, you serious? You think about this shit? You you, you feel like this for real? Like, for real, for real? You, you, you serious? For real? You know we not doing that anyway. It's not fucking happening. I'm not pulling up the website. We not touching ourselves. So fuck is you feeling all like this for? And bro, she go, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Facts every time, G, because I don't play like that, bro. Even with myself, I keep this same energy in real life. This person, anybody that met me in real life, know I'm the same nigga in real life, G. Especially if a motherfucker need to be motivated. That's a fact. Motherfuckers is one way on the internet, but then in real life, they not that same way. I'm the same nigga in real life, you feel me? I like motivating motherfuckers from a distance. 
But if motherfuckers want to link up and this and that, you know, every right now and then I, I try. But it's like I'm still working on my people skills in real life, G. Because I really don't fuck with niggas, you heard. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see, you know, what happens when you at the bottom and how motherfuckers feel. They stand the third. So, <coughs> At the end of the day, I just learned to be a super duper lone wolf and keep myself motivated. Like, me personally, only reason why I watch a couple Seamer Retention channels is because these niggas, I made these niggas homies. We will end up becoming friends. So I do it just to support them. But at the end of the day, I don't need to watch they shit. I watch my own shit and I talk to myself in my motherfucking head. This is why I'm trying to inspire you to become your own self-coach, G. So you don't have to even be watching my videos like that. I don't care if I lose subscribers. I don't care if I lose views. As long as at the end of the day, you motivated enough to have themselves talks and you ain't got to watch Seam Retention channels or maybe you just still want to watch me because you fuck with me or because, you know, I maybe, maybe you do need to be motivated for a while because, shit, I'm on day 72. And I ain't going to lie, my first couple weeks or the first month or so, shit was tough, nigga. Shit was tough. I ain't going to lie. And it's still getting tough because the longer you go, the stronger the urges get, so the stronger your self-talk has to be. I don't want to make this video too long because I want to get on with the rest of my motherfucking day. I'm excited to go to the gym. I'm out here moving 200 pounds like, like it's none. Y'all saw me in my last video. I'm trying to get the three plates. I'm trying to go crazy. I'm trying to do master my muscle-ups. I'm excited. So, you know, just make sure your self-talk, have your own unique self-talk. I'm not, I, when I make my videos, G, I'm not going to never have no cheat code for you to learn to teach you how to live your life. If anything, I want everybody to be unique in their own way. Me personally, I already told y'all, if I need to, I curse myself the fuck out. And I tell myself like it the fuck is and the urge goes away. Whatever you need to do to take your urge away mentally and how you talk to yourself, then talk to yourself however you need to talk to yourself. But just don't fold and don't just let the motherfucking urge sit there. You know what I'm saying? And wait for, bro, you got to have control over your own body. Because think about it. When you get the urge, it's basically your body thinking about, you thinking about women. You get the urge and your body's thinking repro motherfucking deuce. But since we've been, you know, watching porn and shit like that, our body is confused. And, you know, it, our mind plays tricks on us. And it think that, you know, masturbation is, is reproducing when it's not, G, you killing yourself. So at the end of the day, all you got to do, one of the most important things you could do in your own way is like, you know, tell your body like, nigga, we not reproducing. What are you doing? Like, we keeping this for us, for the gains, for the growth. As, as long as you keep reminding your body that, you know what I'm saying? You good money, G, and that's all I really got to say in this shit. Make sure you go out there, you have a good time in the gym. You know, I heard motherfuckers ain't fucking with the gym. If you a bar man, I'm a bar man too, but you know, I'm in New York. So it's cold as fuck to be outside fucking with the bars. So I got to be inside whether I'm in a crib or motherfucking whether I'm at the gym. You feel me? So do whatever the fuck works for you. And just make sure you have fun doing it. Make sure you enjoy it. Make sure you appreciate every motherfucking day on the journey. Because that's really how you're going to survive on this motherfucking shit. Salute to everybody that made it another motherfucking day on the journey. Because the shit ain't easy. Salute and make sure y'all enjoy your motherfucking day. Salute G's and the Marathon continues.